out with a popper, niggas wanna steal me. Wanna steal. I can't bust the on proper, make these niggas make these niggas it. crazy. How I let the same with that trying to kill me. Still stood on solid principles when these niggas ain't feel me. Need somebody lined up, I get the job done. You ain't know I strip niggas and I rob niggas. Different flavors in this wood having a pop. What's good, y'all? It's your main man, Daquan, and I'm back with another video for y'all. And in this video, we got some wild gameplay for y'all. Now, before we start this gameplay, I want you to take a look at the dudes we're going up against, the names and the builds. It's going to play a big part of just what happens in this video. They got a play shot, a point forward, and then a glass cleaner. And then for my teammates, we got a two-way playmaker and then a playmaking shot creator. One was a 70 overall. But the dudes on my team, they're not that good. We're going to be carrying in this whole video. Now, if you watch my channel and you don't know what build I got by now, let me catch you up. We got a 6'8 Demigod, shooting guard, 235 pounds, max wingspan, blue red pie chart. If you ain't with the program, get with the program. Come on now, you already know what we do on this build. We dunk and we play defense and that's about it. We just create highlights left and right. But y'all see how this first game going? We just dubbing these niggas off. They can't really do nothing. They are trying to catch up a little bit, but it, it don't matter. We got slash and take. We're going to do our thing. And peep how they're all basically in the middle. They're all in the lanes trying to stop me. And we're going to do our thing if they let us. If they not making us get fucking stripped. Like, that, 2K is really going to make me put that bum ass unstrippable badge on but one thing i have found out and y'all gonna see in a later video is that some dunk packages get stripped more than others especially in this one coming up so make sure y'all don't miss that video but 12 points on these dudes heads and again remember the names mr kool-aid pickle baylet and then i something but they back again they spun the block and if y'all were paying attention to what happened in that one gameplay, that was just a glimpse of just what goes on. We have a couple more gameplays, not only against these dudes, but just other people too. Because you you going to see. you going to see the circumstances we get put in. But look, just because we got slash and take does not mean we got to go up on them straight up. But I'll tell you what it does mean, and it means that we're going to score regardless of anything. You put three people on us we gonna score and that might be a little hint to what goes on later in the video a little foreshadowing but y'all see the stat line seven for nine our teammates that was making their shots but we on to the next game with the same teammates against different opponents these dudes actually look pretty decent at the game too my dude is a two-way finisher which is a pure red pie chart he has two stars averages 10 points and since he is a pure blue I mean, pure red. Let's see how good his defense actually is. And I know I just said that, but we're down hella fucking points. But, bro, a lot of these fucking guards up in the park be guards and don't even be knowing how to use their build. They don't know how to create their own bucket or score. Because my teammates, they could shoot. Trust me, they could shoot. When I was passing them the ball, they was making their shots. But when it comes down to making their own shots, bro, brain dead. We had to do all the scoring. And I'll give y'all a little sneak peek about what happens in this game, but we go perfect. And what that means is every time we was getting the ball, we was capitalizing and making our shots, every possession. And as a slasher or just a big man, big man, we can't afford to miss any shots just because of how much our possessions are valued. As a guard though, you take threes and with the threes, they're threes, you get three points. So obviously everyone's gonna let you make or take more of them shits. But when it comes to a slasher, only them two points, that shit don't matter. But guess what? We we gonna make it matter. Cause what we're doing in this game, we was playing defense, but again, capitalizing on every position we got. And as a big man, you gotta learn how to do that. But look, we we caught up. We was down damn near fucking 11 points, bro. But when we start get, started getting the ball, y'all see what we're doing. I don't even got to show the whole gameplay. Them numbers don't lie. And you're going to see in the stat line later too. But look at this dude trying to go up on me. Hey, that silver intimidator be working wonders. Look what we're doing. Look, slash and take. <sighs> the build's down in the description. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. But y'all seeing how the game went. 
fast break, easy buckets, 20 points, 10 for 10, easy game. Let's move on. Next game, same shit. We dropping these dudes off, but take a look on the sideline, though. Y'all see that? Looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? That little mask, the, the jersey, but who's that big dude? Let's find out. Look, got done with that game. There was actually a couple games in that. We was, we was streaking up. I ain't going to lie. But look look at this. Mr. Kool-Aid Pickle brought a 60 overall new build. Glass cleaner lockdown. They brought another defender. And then they got uh, their st stank ass play shot they already had. Now, that is down bad if I ever seen it. They brought two pure reds. Y'all already seen what I did to the other pure red, but fuck all the talking. Let's see what happens in the gameplay. Look, we down two possessions already. They already scored two times, but look, 7-3 in the paint. We can't go straight up on that, man. We got to work him out. He is a 60 overall, though, so we could, we could work him in the post a little bit, get jiggy with it, pump fake a couple times, move him out the way. We up in the passing lanes. Come on now. The shit don't change. Look. The shit don't change. You stay under the rim. We still going to dunk on your ass. I know you a 60 overall. Once you hit maybe 90 or something, we're we not going to be able to do that. But as of right now, we're going to take advantage of that. And after the game, we do we do show this dude's build just to confirm the type of build he is. It's a, a rebirth. You're going to see it. Just wait. But again, with the inside points, we still scoring those, bro. We still got 10 points on a 7-3. Oops. I just disclosed what type of build he is, but hey, my build will still be in the description if you need that. If you need it, you don't got to check it out if you need it, but slash and take, we going to go crazy. He, he did have Hall of Fame Intimidator, but teammates, bop, three, they got to get them one, two, we got 16 points. We can't be too selfish, but when they're giving it to us, what, what do we got to do? What, what do you want me to do? Mr. Kool-Aid Pickle went out bad. Terrible. 18 points, 9 for 11. Again, my teammates 0 for 2, 1 for 2. What can I do about that, bro? I'm just trying to help us out by doing what I'm doing. But we did streak up, so I guess it didn't matter. They didn't care. But check out the build. 7'3", 290 pounds, Hall of Fame brick wall, or he had gold intimidator. So sorry about that, but look, he still has 67 interior defense. Still dunking on that man though, but look who it is here. Look who pulled up. But not only is do they have the glass cleaning lockdown, they have a glass cleaner and a rebounded wing, bro. Three fucking big man just to stop me i cannot believe it still with the same dudes 70 overall they are pretty high though they're they're in the 30s so you can tell they play a lot but even with the amount of games played or whatever you need to get to hit that level they still don't know how to create their own shots like look i give him the ball he goes up on a 7-3 runs straight to the paint like dudes are getting blocked what what do I do against three big men when my teammates can't score, bro? Please tell me. I just have to force shit. Look, there are three people in the paint already as soon as I drive. Now, playing 2K for as long as I have and playing with the amount of randoms I have, I figured out how to win in a lot of situations and just how to adapt. And with the situation I'm in, which is being which is playing against three big men what i gotta do is i gotta again capitalize on just every possession i get but especially them fast breaks because there can't be three people up in the paint on a fast break they're too busy trying to stop me just like that they're trying to foul me and stop me getting from the paint instead of running with me because they know i might dunk on their ass or i might force them to jump just because all that speed and momentum is in my favor and that's what helps me score but look it's actually a close game closest game we had against these dudes but look what i tell y'all them fast breaks i did see my teammates open at the top but i did have an open two i'm not gonna pass that up but when it does come to the the defensive part bro 
It's hard out here. I'm only a shooting guard. Remember that. 6'8", shooting guard, 235 pounds. There's only so much I can fucking do. Look. They got the glass cleaner scoring up in the paint. Y'all know them glass cleaners up in this game. They be scared to get grimy in the post. Them dudes just sit in the corner. But look. Uh, uh. On the 7-3. Skip to a little bit later in the game. They up one position. Our teammate got the ball. What the fuck was that? Like, do y'all see? Bro, I, I, I'm not even going to say it no more. 18 of 14. We are down four points to three big men, bro. How, what can I do right now? On offense or defense? Like, take a look at this possession right here. Look, he's sitting wide open in the fucking paint. Dog, this shit don't even make any type of sense. Like, with the amount of dribble tutorials there are on YouTube, the amount of guard YouTubers there are just to help y'all out, watch some videos, please. Like, get do something to make you play better instead of what you're doing now, because it ain't working. However, he does throw the lob. They were making a couple shots here and there. I can't tear him down too much, but bro, this should be making me mad. That's all I'm going to say. 22 to 23. Game's almost done. He takes that dumbass shot, gets a rebound. But I don't know. These iffy passes passes it to me, though. They trust me. I would, too. But thank you. That's, that's all you can say. Just thank you. 14 points. 7 for 10. Teammates, 2 for 5. 2 for 3. 2 for 2 for on the threes, though. Not bad, but wild game if you enjoyed the video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'm out